Hello and welcome to WizIQ. In this WizIQ tutorial, we'll learn how content can be uploaded to the WizIQ content library. WizIQ supports content in most of the popular formats, such as Word documents, spreadsheets, presentations, audio and video files, PDFs, and more. However, password protected and read-only files cannot be uploaded to the content library. Let's get started. To upload content, log in to your WizIQ account. Click on Content Library. If you had uploaded content earlier, you'll find it in your content library. To add a new file, click on Upload Content. Browse your computer to select the file. After you select the file, provide a suitable title and a brief description to help your learner search it easily and understand its purpose. The maximum file size for upload available to a free WizIQ user is 100 megabytes. A premium user can upload a 1 gigabyte file. If you want your files to be visible to everyone on WizIQ, check this box. With the Add Topics option, you can select keywords which identify the content and enable your peers and learners to find and access the content. And if you'd like your students to download the content, check this box. You can also use embedded content on WizIQ. To add embedded content to your library, simply click on Embed Content and paste the embed code into the field. Define a suitable title, description, and language of your content. Click on Continue to upload content. YouTube, Scribd, SlideShare, AuthorStream are some of the popular websites from where you can use embedded content. Remember, embedded content cannot be downloaded or used in the virtual classroom. Here you can see all the files you have uploaded so far. The little red dot tells you that the file is private. The icon to the left shows you the status of the file. You can check your uploaded content under Uploaded Content. All embedded content can be found under Embedded Content. All the files shared with you by your learners or peers is listed under Shared With Me. You can also manage your content in folders and organize your content accordingly after clicking on the Create Folder link. Once your file is uploaded and processed, head over to the virtual classroom to see how to access this content in your online class and play animations and videos in the Rich Media Player. Open the Content Library from the top bar and browse through the Content Library. Then select the files you wish to open. Click Add to Class to open the content in another tab. WizIQ also gives you the flexibility to upload files on the fly during your online class. Click the Upload from Desktop button and browse your computer to select the file. Remember, you can only upload files up to 12 megabytes in size from here, and it may take longer than fetching files from the content library, depending on your internet bandwidth. So if you have large files, it is always a good idea to upload them before starting the class. Audio and video files must be uploaded to the content library before a live class. We hope this tutorial helped you understand the content upload feature on WizIQ. If you still have some questions, you can get in touch with us at support at wizIQ.com. WizIQ support is available 24-7. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great class.